Hello and what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel and you're watching Miguel EDC. Today we're going to be taking a closer look here doing a, a review on the Civivi Scintilla, right? Boom, this guy right here. Tiny but mighty uh, little guy right there. I did an unboxing on this little guy here not too long ago and I've gotten a chance to EDC this guy here for quite a bit and then now I want to go ahead and bring you guys some uh, feedback, some impressions, right? So you guys can kind of learn, see what the Civivi scintilla is all about let's go ahead and get, get things started here with a quick little uh, size check all right so this guy's gonna come in at let's see we got around six and a quarter right that's gonna be six and a quarter overall length and then as far as the a blade right this blade is going to be two and three fourths the actual cutting edge is going to be a little bit under two and a half inches and the handle is going to be i want to say three and a half right you got three and a half on the handle right there bam so this guy is going to be a blade hq exclusive uh, i got this guy over the holidays uh from blade hq uh, that we're doing a promotion where if you purchase around two i think 199 200 right uh you got this guy included for free and the very interesting thing about this guy is that I have not actually seen uh, that this guy is available for sale anywhere as of the time of this video, even as of the time of the unboxing. So this was a very nice, uh, you know, I guess one time special over at Blade HQ. I'm wondering if they're ever gonna bring it back. I think they should, because it's a nice little EDC. I don't think they should make it available for sale because I think a lot of people would like, would really enjoy to get their hands on this tiny little EDC. So what are we dealing with here? We have a D2 stone wash d2 stone wash blade right there uh, this is going to be a harpoon uh, looking blade because of uh, this top portion right here you have some uh, jimping right there at the top which is nice and, and comfortable you have a forward choil on this guy which makes it also very very good if you want a forward choke on it right you certainly can uh, you're dealing with g10 black scales this one has uh, i guess this indentation here which is very unique i haven't seen that in any other knife so it's kind of like a like a hole right there right? that was drilled in for whatever reason makes it you know kind of special i guess if you will it does have it on the other side as well so uh yeah very unique to this knife that that circle indentation right there this guy is going to be a frame lock the liners they're going to be milled as you can probably see from this angle right there you got a deep pocket carry here on this guy which is very nice and convenient it hides the whole knife out of the way it's nice and elegant on this uh, chrome finish let's do some quick size comparisons on this guy uh, pm2 is gonna just overtake this guy by miles right because it's just a much uh, larger knife of course the pair of three is the smaller one and even that one is way bigger here is the demco ad 20.5 on the shark's foot blade and the brother here the demco ad 20.5 in the clip point blade yeah definitely gonna be much bigger nice for sure uh the civivi centilia is gonna be uh, yeah on the smaller knife size absolutely no doubt about that this is a sen cut knife which is a civivi we knife subsidiary as well sister brand if you will so the sen cut crawley at the bottom here the sen cut saxe right here at the top again these are medium to larger knives you can see the <laughs> the scintilla just looks puny right there compared to those other guys here is the of course well-known civivi elementum even the elementum which is already known for a medium to smaller knife is definitely going to be bigger than the scintilla and of course since we're keeping it in the civivi family here here is the ordis right so the ordis is of course going to be uh, a little bit bigger as well i want to say there's something about the acoustics on this guy when it opens, I don't know you guys, I'm gonna do it a couple times here. And this guy just fires in a very unique way. That sound is something else for sure. All right, you can of course flip this guy, got the flipper right here. Uh, you can open it or deploy it with the flipper tab. You have a thumb deployment as well. So you can thumb deploy the uh, scintilla as well. And can you do a reverse flick? Yeah, you sure can. <laughs> that was a bad attempt right there, but boom, look at that. Yeah, you can do, there's plenty of room right there for a reverse flick, there's no doubt about that. And yeah, it makes it very comfortable and also very satisfying, very satisfying for sure. All right, one last time for a good measure boom so what is it what's it gonna feel like in your pocket so when it folds though i will say a lot of the blade does stick out of the frame right so that's something that will make this guy a little bit thicker but not by much here it is compared to the pair of three here it is compared to the pm2 <laughs> so still a much smaller slimmer and um, skinnier knife than the spider coast for sure no doubt about that all right here it is compared to the demco brothers ad 20.5 both blade shapes still uh, obviously a much slimmer knife compared 
compared to the sexy siblings here. So I want to say it's uh, a little bit closer to the sexy. I want to say the Crawley's still a little bit slimmer. You guys let me know in the comments your thoughts there on that. And last but not least, since we already here, here it is next to the Civivi Elementum, next to the Ortis. All right, very comparable. More, I would say the width is a lot closer to the Ortis. I think maybe a little bit wider than the Ortis, right? Whereas the Elementum is going to be a much narrower knife right there. So this one has the Blade HQ logo right there. So again, like I mentioned earlier, it is a Blade HQ exclusive, right? Got the Blade HQ logo printed right there. And this guy is not available for sale anywhere right now. So it is a very unique piece, right? I'm happy that I have one. Glad that I was lucky enough to get one sent to me as part of my holiday purchases and yeah it's kind of very unique right now to have it as part of my arsenal and that's a quick carry profile here next to the para military 2 probably just as uh, i want to say as thick right there no, very comparable maybe the para 2 para military 2 is going to be a little bit wider by hair here's the para 3 right very very comparable you guys be the judge of that the ad 20.5 brothers regardless of blade shape they're usually a little bit slimmer so let me get a good alignment right there yeah the centilia is a little bit wider a little bit thicker right there so you can see uh yeah the senka crawley here is going to be uh much wider the saxi same story yeah much wider here's the elementum very comparable to the elementum and last but not least the Ortis, all right, very comparable to the Ortis as well. So let me tell you guys about my experience after EDC and this guy. Obviously, I, I love the design. I love how, you know, tiny, small EDC it is. EDCable, is that even a word? EDCable, all right, that's a, that's a new word for the day. EDCable, right? Uh, with that in mind, again, I wanna say this guy makes perfect EDC, especially if you're looking for that small factor, especially if you have like limitations on the blade length in your state. Check your local loss, of course. But this guy, I mean, it, it get every job done no doubt about it right d2 blade stone wash so d2 is already a very solid steel on the budget category you know i can't go wrong with d2 it is stone wash so it is going to hide away a lot of cuts and lines and streaks and what have you on your blade so that makes it very very good also i want to say the balance is probably going to be somewhere back here let's see oh, oh, oh it's like the circus all right there it is that's the, that's your balance right there this guy is a liner lock so the liner right here locks the blade in place. Every time you open it, you have multiple ways of deploying it, right? Flipper, thumb deployment, and last but not least, my favorite, right? The reverse flick. So a quick hardware check on this guy. By the way, guys, my tools are very affordable, right? The tools I use on the channel here for every review video. And even to uh, take apart my knives and everything, they're all part of the Strabito uh, tool set. Comes with every single drill bit that you can possibly imagine or uh, need. Uh, check out the links in the, in the description. They are affiliate links. They do help out the channel at no extra cost to you. That being said, I wanna say the pivot is definitely gonna be a T8. And let me double check. I have been known for putting the wrong bits in the wrong place. So that's my T8 right there. and. Uh, uh, yeah, da, 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 da. hold on, let me check here. Yeah, that is definitely gonna be a T8. Also on the frame here, these are gonna be T8. I wanna say this guy right here is a T8 also, but I can't get to it because the pocket clip gets in the way. So you kind of have to take the pocket clip pocket clip off first, which by the way, is reversible. Check that out. Pocket clip is more than likely in typical Civivi fashion. It's gonna be a T6. Let's test that. There it is, right? T6 on the pocket clip. So T6 and T8, right? In typical Civivi fashion, and that's typically what they go with in most cases blade stock thickness on this guy on the thickest point we are reading let's see what do we got all right we got 0 0.09 inches 0 0.09 inches all right so it's definitely on the slimmer side and then on the very very tip uh, if i can get it right yeah 0 0.01 very slim towards the tip i wouldn't recommend any sort of prying or anything like that with this guy and i mean even though it is a very wide blade if you will i mean this this point right here this tip is uh quite pointy to say the least of course get a quick weight on this guy here shall we all right by comparison just so you guys know the elementum was 2.8 right so under that three ounces i guess golden weight threshold the ortis was 2.9 and so this guy being, being much smaller my guess is probably going to be 2.5 <laughs> all right i was uh very optimistic there so 2.7 i mean still can't go wrong with it it is a perfect weight right there under three ounces second time for fair measure there it is 2.7 ounces it's time to do the paper cut test and keep in mind this guy has already been through some use already it has been through many cardboard boxes open mail cut through rope or what have you strings uh, all kinds of things so here we go let's see how we do here whoa <laughs> 
off to a good start. Keep in mind, the blade length is not that long. So as I'm sliding it through the paper, right? Whoa, look at that. It's making some nice clean cuts. Even after some use, right? So this is not no longer out of the box. I have not sharpened it at all whatsoever. It has definitely already seen plenty of use. I think the key here, as long as you slide the blade from one end to another, look at that. You get some very clean cuts, just like that. I'm trying to find a, maybe something to dislike about this guy. I would say probably the Ergos, it being a smaller knife, very comfortably fits three fingers. The pinky is going to struggle trying to get some grip right there because it's just that tiny of a knife, right? So none of the handle is showing once you are fully gripping the handle. That's where this forward chore right here comes into play. So if you were to forward choke on it, then yes, right, you can definitely get a good grip right there. I right, still leaves a little bit of a handle left. But uh, yeah, other than that, that's my only gripe about it. But I mean, it's kind of a price you pay for the small form factor. If you're looking for a tiny uh, knife to EDC, a little bit of a price to pay there uh, as far as the air goes. And especially if you have bigger hands, I have average, you know, medium sized hands, not too small, not too big. Uh, you can see it right there, right? So that's kind of what it looks like. Half of your pinky is gonna be hanging on to this very pointy portion of the handle right there. I mean, it's not a deal breaker. I'm sure I mentioned this earlier, but this uh, jimping right here comes very, very handy if you're forward choking here it makes it uncomfortable to uh, use the jimping but if you're just holding it normal right that jimping is going to help with those cuts no problem i want to say even the reverse grip is going to be um you know a little bit comfortable as well for a small knife right for what it is right so g10 uh handles on this guy i want to say this guy is on bronze are these bronze washers let's see these are ball bearings right i'm not sure you guys can see them there from the angle they're so tiny guys so tiny those ball bearings but yes and it's just a smooth action as you would expect from any Civivi. I can't begin to explain it to you guys. So also, uh, you could fail the flip if you don't do it hard enough. This guy is not assisted in any way. So if you don't do the flip fast enough, you could fail it. But as long as you put a decent amount of effort and enthusiasm into it, you're going to be able to flip it open just fine. Same with the thumb deployment, same with the reverse flick right there. All right, guys, so that has been it for the Civivi Centilia, right? Very unique knife, very exclusive to Blade HQ. It is not being sold right now at the moment. D2, Blade, Stonewash, Harpoon style, a liner lock with black G10 scales. Awesome knife, I'm glad that I have it. I'm glad that it's part of my arsenal. I really enjoyed EDC in this guy. Just looking forward to continue EDC in this guy more and more, right? Uh, if you made it this far into the video, guys, you are the real MVP. There is a chance that this brother from another mother <laughs> the crkt pyatt is already up uh, on the channel the review for this knife right here if you're from the future chances are this knife has already been reviewed so i'll put a card for that right here if you want to check that out next you certainly can thank you guys for being so awesome thank you for all your support don't forget to like and subscribe peace